Hello pilots and welcome to another Eve Echoes video. Today I'm going to be showcasing what has quickly become one of my favorite ships in Eve Echoes and that is the Arbitrator 3 Covert Ops. And the reason that this is one of my favorite ships right now is because it is so great for solo PvP. Let's go into the fittings and check it out. Okay, I'm going to be using two Pythom C-type medium missiles. These are the long range missiles. Uh, normal range is about 27.95 kilometers on these, but because I have skills trained into it, you'll see the range jumps up to 37.56. That's a huge difference and it really benefits the added DPS for this ship. Over in the mid slots, I have an Explorer narrow scanner. This is the red scanner. I have a 230 meter scan radius. I'd like to get that down a little bit more, but I have some skill training to do still for that. Below that, we have the long range warp disruptor. We'll go into that in a little bit more detail, but you can see I have 34 kilometer range on that. And then a scrambler, just in case they get a little close with a micro warp drive, I can shut that off. The beauty about this ship is the tracking disruptor. So we have that, it has a 46 kilometer optimal range with a fall off of 18. We have two MK9 Valkyries. This is for the speed attacking drones. This is kind of average DPS, should say average damage type for the Valkyries. So I always like to use Valkyries. And then I have the uh, infiltrators on here also to help take down the shields, as well as some extra drones in the inventory just in case. We have our damage mod on here for a little extra boost in DPS, a DCU. I love fitting DCUs to all my PVP ships. Gives you that extra little coverage. Uh, MK7 cloak, I wanna switch that right now actually, to MK9, covert ops cloak. This is one of the other advantages that we have is using a covert ops cloak instead of a regular cloaking device. That's going to allow us to get in real close and um, sneak up on our enemies. Last slot here, you can see we have a C-type medium micro warp drive. I highly recommend going C-type in this slot. It's going to make a huge difference in your speed, and you need that speed because this is a speed tank ship. For the combat rigs, I have two drone speed augmenters for extra attack speed and one firepower. Save a little bit of money. You can also go three drone speed attacks. On the engineering side, I have two auxiliary thruster threes for the extra speed. Again, this is a speed tank ship and a little extra polycarbon engine housing three just for the inertia modifier in theory to help me maintain a tight orbit when I need to. Let's go in and check the nano core real quick. I know everybody's curious about the nano core when I fit these. Um, we'll go over the basic attributes. You can see we have that extra warp disruptor optimal range. That is huge for what we're trying to do with this. We're trying to stay out of the large neutralizer of the battleship's range. So we want to get out past 30 kilometers as much as we can. So those bonuses on the nanocore help a lot. I'd like to take it down a few more levels. Extra inertia modifier would be good. Extra capacitor, especially for the more warp disruptor range. I would like to get that eventually, but it's extremely expensive and I just haven't reached it yet. Oh, and I did gold core this ship because I loved it so much. So you can see I have the extra inertia modifier on there from the gold core. I haven't quite achieved the uh, second level yet. I can see if I can make it right now. No, that's a failure, so I'm probably not going to make it here. And yeah, ran out of resources, so I'll have to go try and gather those up real quick and, and finish this off. But because of that inertia modifier, I could probably get rid of the polycarbon rig and put another speed rig or dynamic fuel valve to help with my capacitor. Um, something I might look into doing later. One of the key things that makes this ship so great is the Bombard Implant, the Bombard Tactics Implant to be specific. I have it at level 20. This implant basically allows you to come out of cloak and quickly lock the target and spike them with DPS before they can react. So it's, it's really beneficial. I have the 40% drone speed increase. Uh, looking at the GUs, I have a tracking disruption. I love the tracking disruption for range because it makes turret ships um, have a much shorter range and not be able to hit me out towards my 30 kilometer that I'm going to be orbiting at. The other two GUs that I have in it right now are going to be for the damage mod that I have on there just for an extra DPS, extra spike, 
Um, it does really reduce the cooldown on that mod though, so you get like one shot to use it and then it's pretty much done for the rest of the fight, but it can make the difference in trying to take target down fast so you can get away. But that is my standard fit as of now, a room for improvement, but I wanna take it on a test drive, so let's undock and see what happens. Okay, so I'm up here in SHH territory. I figure might as well go to the Reds Warp first, but I really wanna try and get past them and up into the neutral territory because there's going to be more players around in this time zone. I play late at night usually. So, so far I haven't had any issues going through the gates. Um, I haven't been able to scan any targets down ratting in this space so I'm just kind of making my way. Make my way. Yeah that's what I said. I'm making my way through enemy space. Thanks for interrupting me Vanessa Carlton. Anyway, as you can see, we have two small ships here. I could have engaged, but I felt like the odds were not good with me. I don't like fighting drone ships, so that worm was a little scary. Okay, so these guys are gonna know what ship I'm driving, what gate I'm coming through. They're probably gonna come through real quick and see if I can see if they can catch me. Oh, yeah, I have an interdiction ship right here. I gotta get past. So we'll survey the area, check out where his bubble is, uh, look for a hot spot in the distance to kind of approach. Double click, and as soon as I hit that double click, you'll see me turn on my cloaking device. So he's gonna kind of know the general vicinity that I'm in, so I'm gonna switch directions here just in case he comes towards me. See if we can get just outside of his bubble so we can warp away. Um, there is a chance if he gets too close to me. No, 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 no. Too close. Okay. All right. Don't like the don't like that feeling. So. Yeah, let's get out of this bubble as quickly as we can. We can see the other enemies coming through here. They're gonna be circling pretty quick looking for me. If I can just get out range, outside of the range of this um, enemy bubble here, I can warp off and we'll be good to go. But this is, the, this is one of the first obstacles I've had on my roam so far. Just trying to get into enemy space. So the good thing is that I am in a covert ops cloak. So as soon as I get outside of this, I can warp away stay cloaked, go to a planet, they have no idea where I am, they can't scan me down, and I can continue my journey from there. So, and he's orbiting a little bit away from me, so this might be my chance. Gonna try and squeeze outside of the range. And just outside the range we can go, and I'll thank Warp you for, drive active. for turning that off, but it wasn't necessary. I made my way out. All right, onward. Okay, I have made it up into neutral territory here, and you can see I have been able to scan down an Apocalypse Navy issue and entered his anomaly. This is a medium anomaly. There's nobody else in the system. I'm a little bit of ways away from him, but I am stealth, so I'm gonna kind of make my way towards him, see if I can get close enough to jump on him real quick. This is definitely what I wanted. I wanted a test against a battleship, so we're going to turn off the cloak, hit that micro warp drive, hit our orbit, get a good orbit range. I want to be at around 31, 32 kilometers to stay out of neutralizer range. And we're going to start laying on the DPS and see if we can take down his armor along with these NPCs before he can uh, react. Getting some good shots in. We got over 2,000 damage coming in from the drones, so we're doing pretty good. Taking it down, I don't know if he started repping yet. Maybe he's not used to this amount of damage coming through. Oh, there's, okay, we got the neutralizer and the NOS on me now, so. Unfortunately, I know I'm in range of his newt, and that's not gonna be good. Even though I'm right on the edge, and his optimal on that newt is gonna drop off, it's still gonna slowly tick me down, and there's no way I can outlast this. The good news is that our tracking disruptor is doing a good job of mitigating all the damage, so we're not taking any damage. Uh, if I had the capacitor to last forever, I might be able to take him down. It might take like 45 minutes, but you can see he's just chunking me every time that large neutralizer uh, goes through a cycle. It's draining me just a little bit more, so I turn off my micro warp drive trying to save my cap. He's still not able to hit me, even though I'm not even speed tanking at this point. Um, doesn't look like any of the NPCs are targeting me. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm too low on cap. We can try and turn off the tracking disruptor and see if that helps. But I gotta be honest with you, I don't feel comfortable doing that because I know that's gonna just extend his range out farther. It might be our only option though to take this thing down if we can save the cap. So let's give it a shot reluctantly. 
Yeah, I have to. We're at 11% here. Let's turn this off and let's see what happens. Shield damage. Oh, nope. Engaged. Nope. Bad idea. Okay, we're going to hit that DCU. We're going to warp off to our autopilot point and uh, send them a active. good fight in local because, yeah, you can see as soon as I turned off that tracking disruptor, I was toast. Makes a huge difference. So it looks like we will be shooting for a larger orbit range to avoid a longer neutralizer after all. Okay, we are back in SHH territory here. We're going to warp in. Notice how you can see the name and local before you've completed your warp in so you know if somebody's there. We can do our double tap into space, hit our scanner, hit our cloak as soon as that happens. Okay, we got five signals. I'm still learning this little mini game here, but it looks like if you just find the glowy dot on, specifically on top of an anomaly, uh, somebody should be there. So that's what you're looking for. Oh, Chimera, I believe that's called. I think that's a capital ship. So um, we're going to use our stealthiness to our advantage here. Warp drive active. Double check what a Chimera is, because that's the first time I've ever seen that ship flown. I'm 100% certain it's a capital ship. I just don't know if it's a carrier or a dread. So let's let's ask real quick. Either way, um, one of the great things about this ship is I can warp in about 100 kilometers and be pretty safe, kind of scout the area, see what's going on, and move around with the cloak on. I do know there have been situations where people have fallen asleep while riding in a capital ship. Uh, no names mentioned, but yeah, it happens. And um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Um, I do see his small fighters out there, so this is a carrier which means he might be a little bit vulnerable, especially if he's fallen asleep or gets lazy. Um, he's not warping out, even though I'm in the system, so he's a little overconfident. Let's fast forward and make our way towards him. Okay, we are just about in range here. He's got one ship left to complete it. So we'll see if he's kind of falling asleep at the wheel, if he's gonna warp in there and grab the loot, or uh, what's gonna, oh, okay. He disappeared. Well, I, I think he sinoed out. He may have logged out, but that, that streak across the screen means he probably sinoed out. So either way, system is empty and I got a lot of loot in front of me, so. We're going to pick it up. Active. Enjoy. Okay, looks like our friend is back here. We don't know if he's coming back in the capital ship or what, so let's warp off, recloak, and then come and see what we have uh, what we're dealing with here. Let's warp in at about 100 from this anomaly. Uh, kind of see what's reached. going on. I expect the carrier to come back. Um, I was thinking it was a log off, warp so I'm assuming active. it was coming back and it's just warping and taking a while. But let's come in at 100 and see what, what pops in.
a daredevil. Interesting. Um, I don't know if he was expecting me to be here uncloaked or if he just only wants the boxes, but that's not a very large cargo hold for a ship. So let's move in here, and I guess if he's going to hand me a daredevil, let's do it. So just like before, we turn off our cloak, we hit our marker warp drive, hit our orbit, and try to target as fast as we can. Got him locked. We're on now we just got to get in range of our disruptor. Our drones are farther out range. We turn that on, turn the disruptor on. We're and good thing we got our bombs right. off. We'll see how much damage we can do. We want to burst this guy down before he has a chance to escape. He's probably stabbed. He's getting a little bit of range on us here. He's outside of disruptor range. Oh, so close. Come on. There. Beautiful. I will take that. I will take this loot, and then I will take the other loot. So the long wait did pay off. Did get the, the PvP engagement that I wanted. Um, that was perfect uh, for me. Uh, I have a great matchup against frigates. The medium drones with the extra speed does a great job. Plus it's a tracking, uh, it's, should say, it's a turret ship. It has um, rail guns, so it's going to have a hard time tracking me unless it gets super close. So I will take that. You can warp off very well. I didn't want to blow up the pod just in case he was in system dock, so he's going to have to go back and get whatever ship he wants to come. We get a little bit of extra time here to loot, see if we can get some more carrier or dread debris, because that's going to be worth the most. And just in case, this time I'm going to set a bookmark for this spot, just so that I can come back in case he loots the boxes. I can still come back and grab the wrecks if the anomaly disappears. All right, let's take a quick look at the kill mail here, just for the value. 411 million, that's pretty good. Let's send it out so we can get some cheers. All right, moving on through SHH space. We're coming through a gate here. We still have our invisibility timer. We're gonna survey the area. We got a Dramiel here sitting on the gate. So don't know if he's AFK or not, but let's take advantage of it. Do a quick engagement, load our drones up. Actually, I think I clicked too fast on that drone Where button there. So we didn't get our drones loaded. That might kick, kick us in the butt later. Uh, but hopefully we can get this guy down, put the tracking disruptor on him. He has a cannon ship, so this is going to mess up his range. Pop our DCU. Probably could have waited till I got to armor on that, but I got a little jumpy. Okay, getting it real close. We got nine other people in the system here, so we want to be quick. Let's take him down. Come on. Got our scram, got our... Nope. He's stabbed. He's got the... The warp stability so even with six points on him he was able to get away um oh well you know sometimes that's what happens active. you can't stab everything so moving on okay moving on with the solo roam here you can see i'm a little bit damaged from that last fight uh, we're gonna run smack into a lictor bubble here this is a light interdiction ship I could probably take him down pretty quick. Unfortunately, he's super far out of range. Um, but luckily for us, our cloak is still on, so he's not gonna be able to gut, jump on us. And we can slow boat our way to the gate if we need to. Um, I don't really wanna engage more than one target. So as long as he's out of range and nobody else is next to the gate, we're just gonna try and pop through and then move on after that. All right, so he's gonna warp to the gate, try and set up another bubble here. He doesn't know I'm already inside and in close proximity. So all I have to do now is turn off my cloak, hit my micro warp drive, and there's no way he can stop me from getting through this gate. Okay, we've got about eight reds in the next Shield system. Damaged. And two enemies right next to me now this hurricane okay so this hurricane this is obvious bait and the way that you can recognize it is he's sitting right on top of that gate which means he's in range to warp into it in through it at any point and you're not going to have a chance to tackle him so this is an obvious trap and something that i want other people to recognize warp drive uh, don't active. engage ships when they're at zero on the gate because you're not going to be able to stop them before they get through so know when not to engage 
All right, we are back into neutral territory here. We've got two newts in local. We're going to scan it and see if anything comes up. Right there, you can see that glowing anomaly. So we're going to click straight on the anomaly, hit a scan, and we're going to see what ship it is before we warp in. This gives us an idea of what distance to warp at and what we're going to be going up against. Two signals means it's a smaller ship, and yet yeah, that's a Gila or Gila, however you want to say it. We're going to see if we can jump on this guy real quick. I, I don't have warp a lot of confidence active. fighting one of these ships. This is uh, one of those engagements where you're like drone boat versus drone boat, and it could go either way. But usually I try to stick away, stay away from drones when I am fighting targets. But I'm trying to have fun. So let's see what we run into here. Oh, that's disappointing. That's an invisible gila, everybody. If you've never seen an invisible gila, there it is. We can't fight invisible gilas, so. Unfortunately, we won't get to test ourselves against that, and it's time to move on again. We'll give the system one more scan just to see if he changed anomalies, but it looks like he docked when we came into the system, so we didn't get a chance to see how that fight would turn out. But maybe next time. This next fight is kind of the main event here. I'm talking to you as I've already gone through the fight, but I'm going to give you the highlights and breakdown of what happened. Um, when I warp in on this gate, I see something on my overview that I don't recognize because I've never fought it before. And I think it's either a succubus or a hurricane or a myrmidon or something. I don't know, but it goes through and I jump after it and I'm like, yes, I got somebody. Let's do this. Let's fight. So we pop out of the gate here. I don't even recognize the fact that there's a bubble there. My overview is covering up the name of the ship, the name of the player. I have no idea what he's flying, so I just go ahead and engage, and then I go, oh, it's a fiend. Well, there's no going back now, so let's hit orbit, let's fire everything, let's turn on the tracking disruptor, let's just go everything at it here and see what happens. And you can see I start off really close to him. He has me webbed, but he doesn't have a scrambler on me, so I'm able to pull away and get my distance. And you can see just how fast my drone bombs take down his shields. This is a shield ship, so if he doesn't have any shield left, he's not going to be able to tank. And I'm just chunking him, and I'm at a distance, and there's not much he can do. Now, I don't know if he forgot to turn on his speed mod or what, but he's not even coming close to hitting me. So this looks like a pretty one-sided fight here. I don't know if he's un inexperienced or, or what's going on, but I should not be winning this. He turns off his bubble here, maybe so he can warp away. He's in hull. Hopefully he doesn't, hopefully he's not stabbed. I need to get on top of this guy. And a Cinnable warps in. And I don't even care. This guy's in half hull. I'm going for it. I'm getting closer. I'm scrambling him. I'm disrupting him. I'm not letting this get away. This is like the highlight of my career. Yeah, I don't care. You can hit my drones. Hit my drones. I don't care. You're going to go down. Don't warp away, though. Just hit my drones. We're going to target that Cinnable, lock him up just in case he gets on top of us. Just a little more. And get him, drones. Got him. Very nice. Okay, now right here, I just make the split second decision to just warp, warp off. I'm at 17% capacitor. I'm not at a good advantage against this Cinnable. Usually Cinnable pilots are pretty strong, um, skilled, and experienced. So I'm just going to warp off. I got the Fiend kill. That's all I care about. Um, kind of wish I would have engaged the Cinnable because the way he landed so far off and reacted so slow, I might have had a chance against him if I got range, but I was worried about running out of capacitor there and I didn't want to risk it. And you'll see here, even though I'm at about 30% capacitor, I could reload my drone bombs, I could turn off my cloak and fight again because he warps right next to me, pretty much within, within my range to get him. And I just, I just couldn't do it. I, I couldn't go for it. I was so happy with the fiend kill that I didn't want to lose my ship and have it all go to waste. So I'm just ec ecstatic. <laughs> we'll take a look at his kill mail later and we'll see what mods he was running and, and why that went so one-sided. Because I, honestly, as soon as I saw fiend, I thought it was done. 
Okay, so we're cloaked, we're safe, and nine billion. Oh my God, let's share that. Let's share it now, because this might be the highlight of my PvP career. Let's be honest, I might never get a kill like this again, because those insurance, I, sure, I should say that kill mail evaluation is extremely inflated. Let's take a deeper look, because I really want to analyze what happened here with the Fiend. Okay, so we do see the Afterburner, we see the three DPS mods, so he's all offensive. Large Nosferatu, and wait a second. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f This guy could have warped off at any time. He could have gotten out of this. I don't understand. I'm so sorry. Three warp core optimizers. <sighs> okay, well, I mean, it happens, right? It happens. People lock up but I'm happy, and that's all that matters. Warp okay, drive so after active. all that excitement, I think it's about time to wrap it up. It's getting pretty late here in my playtime. Uh, let's head through Fountain, back to Delve, scan on the way, and see if anything else pops up. Okay, neutral has entered this system. We're gonna stop and scan when we get to the gate. See what it is, hit that stop button. See what we got going on. Oh, he's right here. Okay, let's grab him. Perfect, okay, we got a Myrmidon. We gotta be really careful with this one because our tracking disruptor won't help us at all. This is a drone ship, usually very tanky. Armor tank, so I'm not attack. too concerned with the shield damage I'm doing right now, but my drones are putting a lot of work in here. I got a good optimal range. We got them disrupted. Yeah, this looks like it's all over. It's just too much damage up front for a T7 battlecruiser to withstand. He is reacting. His drones are on me, but I think it's going to be too late. He's already halfway through hull. Shield damaged. Yeah, we got the DCU just in case, so we can outlast whatever damage he has coming. And there's another kill. Perfect. That was unexpected, but I will take it. Sometimes the element of surprise is just like so much more valuable than the mods and the skills that you could be uh, flying with. Let's take out this pod so he doesn't report any, any anything about our ship back and loot him and... Oh, PI. That's nice. Well, a little bit. I think about 15 million it was, ish, in uh, in value. But I'll take it. Another kill mail, just roaming through space. Warp drive active. All right, roaming through meow space to try and get home here. I know that this is a lictor trap. This is where they drop a dread or a super carrier on you as soon as you try to attack this ship, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I don't care. So we're gonna uncloak here, hit our micro warp drive, get our orbit on it, and try and DPS it as fast as possible. Luckily, our orbit is gonna take us outside of the bubble just naturally, so I did get lucky on that one. But we are gonna maintain range on here, hit the disruptor so that he can't warp away, which I don't think he cares about, he just wants to lock me in. I'm still outside of the bubble, he missed that one there. And we're going to do enough damage with our Bombard Tactics implant here that even though the super carrier is dropping like I called, like I said, we're just going to warp away as fast as possible here. He won't have a chance. As he's landing, we're going to warp away. He loses warp a ship. Active. We smile. That's always nice. I love taking out those Lictor traps. And yes, I know, it's not worth anything at all. 37 million is a drop in the bucket for a super carrier pilot, but it's still nice to get a kill mail when somebody's trying to set a trap for you. So I'll take it. So overall for the roam, about four kills. Um, this was the highlight for sure. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be overvalued like it always is. Those are actually only about 1 billion on the market, so it's not that excessive. It looks nice on paper, but definitely not as valuable as this. Um, looks like he was using more of a riding fit and maybe just not prepared for me to come in. Maybe he was just trying to bubble me in and hold off while his Cinnable buddy jumped in. Maybe the Cinnable was his second ship. 
we don't really know unless he says so. But I'm happy with what, what the results ended up being, especially because I didn't know what it was when it first showed up on the screen. Um, but yeah, that was the highlight of my night. Okay, so that's my solo roam for the night with the Arbitrator 3 Covert Ops. I really love this ship. I hope to do some more PvP solo roams with it. Uh, if you like the video, uh, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have fitting advice, give me fitting advice. I don't mind it, I'm no expert. I just enjoy the uh, conversation. So thanks for watching. See you out there.